What's going on everybody? Um, just real quick, I wanted to thank everyone that has recently subscribed to my channel and everyone that's already subscribed to my channel. Uh, we've reached 100 subscribers and man, I can't really explain how great that feels. It was something that I was shooting for. Didn't realize it was gonna happen this quick in about six, seven months, but um, it happened and I'm truly grateful. So in today's video, I want to uh, continue my little range test here. Now there's one mode that we haven't done yet and that's mode three. So the plan is to uh, basically go as far as I can possibly go in mode three, as fast as I can possibly go. So we can just figure out how far I can go in mode three at about 24 to 25 miles an hour. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right on. Now, <clears throat> there are gonna be some slight differences today in this particular test, being that I know I'm not gonna get much range out of mode three, which is honestly to be expected. Um, I am not wearing a 17 pound backpack today. I am gonna be wearing a very light North Face. I'm gonna be wearing a very light North Face book bag here just with the charger. And I am actually using the RX100 Mark 7 and the Rode Wireless Go. So if it looks a little different, sounds a little different, that's why. All right, so I have my map, my ride going here. Now the plan is to go as fast as I possibly can for as long as I possibly can to see how far I can go. If I had to guess, I'm probably gonna get about in anywhere between six to eight miles on a single charge. Now I am gonna be going to a different location today. Um, just to, I'm kind of getting bored of that one little spot. So, but again, it's relatively flat. Nothing much changes. It's pretty much a flat area around here. So right now I am going 24 miles an hour. So while we are making our way to uh, start our test here, let's kind of go over the booster rev. So this is a 1500 watt dual motor scooter. Uh, so basically 750 watts in the back, 750 watts in the front here. There's an advertised range of 22 miles on a single charge, a top speed of 24 miles an hour. Now there are three different ways to brake. Now there is your thumb, thumb throttle here. You just have to pull back into the uh, negative here and it will regen brake for you. 90% um, of the time I'm only using this unless there's an emergency. There is an actual mechanical brake here that you could use in the case of emergencies again or you could use this for 100%. And um, when you are using the mechanical brake and the thumb throttle here, you are actually gonna have a brake light that activates here. Now there is your third option here of a foot foot brake. Um, I, I've actually never used that, but it does not activate your brake light there. So again, three ways of braking. Two of your forms of braking will activate the brake light in the back here. All right, I'm coming up on my first stop. Guys, I have to, I'm going to have to admit that riding the boosted rev is um, unlike anything I've ever experienced before in my life. Especially when it comes to a boosted product. Now, granted, all I know is boosted. And you know, I have all of their boosted boards. I have the Stealth and the Mini X. But now I have to admit that the Booster Rev, in my opinion, is by far slightly more fun than the Boosted Step. Uh, because the acceleration is just so crazy on this thing. It's something that you really don't get to experience on the boosted stealth. I mean, granted, it's a boosted board. It's a skateboard, it's an electric skateboard. So, yeah, I mean, having this type of torque in an electric skateboard, in my opinion, would probably be a little too much. But you, you're able to get away with that on a, a scooter like this because uh, you have the handlebars to hold on to. So I am like a mile, 1.3 miles. I am at 85%. So uh, yeah, mode three definitely drains the battery, which is again to be expected. But again, quite all right. Because you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have this fun in mode two. The sharp acceleration 
I mean, it accelerates and it pulls you back. It pushes you back into the back of this scooter here. I mean, it is so much fun to accelerate like that. But I'm gonna try my best not to accelerate that often like that. Oh my God. Now, if I haven't mentioned it, this is my wife's scooter that I'm doing all the tests on. I've actually purchased a second scooter that should be coming within the few weeks, hopefully this week or next. Or I might just go ahead and keep this scooter for myself and since I've been riding it to death, give my wife a new scooter. I think that may be what I do because um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of attached to this particular scooter right now. And I want to give my wife the, um, I guess the fresh scooter, not something that I've been kind of abusing. <laughs> so I'm at two miles. Let's see where I'm at on charge. Give me one second to make it up this hill. How you doing? I'm at 79% at two miles. Oh, oh man. Now, if there's one thing that I wish this scooter had, is um, definitely some suspension. Uh, oh my God, if this thing is not a load of fun. Guys, if you're on the fence on this, get off the fence. This thing is crazy. Mode 3 will change your mind for sure. At 75% battery life, I am at 2.37 miles. Just lost my first bar. Um, yeah, I think I might get about seven to eight miles going this way, full speed. Now, if my commute was only about six to seven miles, Honestly, I would keep it in mode three. Now, clearly that's probably not an option if, you're, if, you're, if your travel distance is probably over eight miles because I think most people are only gonna get eight to, um, eight to nine miles on this in mode, mode three, which is plenty for me. I am typically only gonna go about eight miles. You've seen uh, my favorite trail going down to Sebastopol. It's about an eight mile ride. So I could realistically keep it in mode three and um, ride all the way down to where I need to be. That's why uh, the Booster Rev was a great option for me is because one, it's well balanced. It's, um, it's just heavy enough. It, it's pretty heavy at 46 pounds, but it's not that heavy. I have about three flights of stairs that I have to kind of climb up um my wife she can handle it going up three flights of steps all the other products were probably a little bit heavier and then if you look at the performance the performance is there for being 46 pounds and only being able to not only have to charge for three hours which really sold me on this product again i don't know if i've mentioned but the competitors like the wide wheel that's a six hour charge time for me that's a big deal but I say, if I want to go down to Sebastopol and spend a few hours down there, all I have to do is find a place that I can charge for three hours if I completely drain the battery and I have a full charge coming back. So like that is a real big plus. And then you have your other competitors that are a tiny bit more expensive, like the um, Zero 10X. It is a freaking 12 hour charge time, which for me, Oh man, if I if I forget to charge it after two days of riding, I'm not gonna be able to ride one day. So to always be able to ride no matter what is kind of what I was going for. And again, the boosted rev is like the perfect balance. Let's see where I'm at. 4.3 miles. 54% battery life. I'm gonna turn around at um, 51% so I make sure I have enough to uh, turn back. Let's 
just gonna keep going here on the sidewalk and get in the bike lane so I can go 24 miles an hour. Check where I'm at. 52% battery life. Let's see if I can get to five miles before having to turn around. 4.58. I'm at 51% battery life, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around to um, give myself a little bit of a, a buffer to get all the way back home. Four point six miles at fifty one percent battery life. So yeah, I definitely think I'll get around nine to ten miles full speed. All right, I'm about to slow down again. So guys, I've been going 24 miles an hour, 24 to 25, basically the whole way until I've had to stop, you know, just to look out for traffic. So five miles, I have 46% um, battery life. Damn, I might get 10 miles in mode eight. I mean, um, I might get 10 miles in mode three, guys. It's gonna be close. I don't know if you can see, I'm hitting the top speed of 24, 25 miles an hour. I don't know if the glare is too bright on that. All right, so I'm at six miles, six miles. I am at 35% battery life. Not bad, not bad. All right, coming up on my next stop here. Back on the throttle. So I'm at 26% battery life, guys. I am at 6.79 miles. I'm definitely gonna hit over eight miles, uh, over eight, I think, for sure. just hit seven miles let's see where I'm at 24% battery life at seven miles guys yeah I'm, I'm definitely over eight miles well over eight miles I can't predict if it's gonna be nine or ten but I'm um, definitely over eight miles for sure eight miles all right let's see where I'm at eight miles at 12% battery life that's pretty damn good man I'm not gonna lie I'm very impressed with this uh mode three range test this is probably the most i've been impressed so far with getting the range that i have right now well over eight miles i'm assuming i'm assuming i'm going to hit about nine miles if i'm going to uh guesstimate properly yeah i should be able to get over nine miles oh Eight point three miles, ten percent battery left. Yeah, that's that's really really good. In my opinion, that's really good, guys. I um, I was only expecting to get about eight miles, to be honest. And uh, I'm, it looks like I'm going to get well beyond eight miles of range on this thing. Again, I'm 197 pounds, so um, not 217, but 197.
so guys it does appear that uh since i've cycled through this battery i am not experiencing any power loss after about four or five percent i'm still going really really strong at 24 miles an hour at five percent battery here so um it just it does look like it appears that the battery just needed to be cycled through in order to um in order to eliminate that uh, little issue I was having with uh, losing a lot of power around 4% battery life. I'm still going up way strong at 24, 25 miles an hour at 3% battery life. Wow, this is really, really cool. Still pretty torquey. Now, of course, it doesn't have the, the acceleration it did have, but man, I'm still able to hit that top speed, which is uh, really all that really matters, especially when you're in low power like this. I know, boosted. Nine miles, Oh, Guys, it looks like I'm gonna ride this thing all the way out here. I am back home. I'm gonna ride all the way to zero or 1% see how far I can go oh well there's one percent see how far I can go there's zero percent okay so guys it looks like I don't know if you can see I'm at one percent let's look at my distance come on nine point one four miles or nine point one five once it updated not bad not bad for mode three so guys there you go mode three speed test distance test full send every opportunity i got i got about nine point one five miles okay so i've actually just kept i'm gonna keep going here i'm at um, zero miles i'm at nine point three five miles i'm just gonna circle around the apartment complex here and see how far I can go on mode three completely dead. If you can see here, I am at 0%, 0% battery life. Now, does it hold true that there's still probably about 10% battery life left in this thing? Being that um, Boosted has smartly kind of capped it at 90% battery. Let's see. Gonna just do some circles around here. Okay, I'm losing power now. Probably can get away with one more pass. This is my last pass around here. Definitely losing power now. Okay, boosted. I understand. Let's look at my distance. Yeah, nine. Wow, I'm just gonna keep going, guys. No, I'm not. I'm done. <laughs> I'm losing real bad power here. I'm gonna turn around, keep it at that. So I don't really, really damage the battery. So I'm at 9.6. Okay, here you go. 9.64 miles on a single charge in mode three. Okay, so there you have it guys. I rode about 9.6 miles in mode 3, going full send as much as possible. So uh, to me, this is probably the best um, test I've had to date. I was a little disappointed in mode 2, was only getting about 14 miles of range. Mode 3, mode 1, um, I was okay with that. I got about 16 miles in mode one, and uh, which again, I'm okay with mode in mode one getting about 16. But no, mode three, I'm definitely impressed with getting close to about 10 miles. And I actually could have kept going, but um, again, I started losing a lot of power, and it was at 0% battery life. So uh, just to save myself the headache of damaging my battery, I just kind of cut it short there. But I'm, I'm almost positive I could have gotten about 10 miles, but. That's just speculation because I didn't do it. So yeah, 9.64 miles. There you go. 
my 03 test complete for me I'm a 197 pound rider I did not have my 17 pound backpack today so guys it does appear that um weight is a big difference guys and it was relatively hot out here today it was um, upwards of about 85 to 89 degrees today so for sure weight plays a big part in um, your distance here and I'm 197 pounds so just imagine if you are say 185 to 160 you're definitely gonna get 10 miles of range in mode 3 on relatively flat surfaces now it's gonna be a different story if you have um, a bunch of hills you're probably going to get closer to about seven to eight miles of range if that so um, yeah relatively flat 197 pound guy giving it full speed, going 24 25 miles an hour as much as possible so we'll catch you guys in the next video